Because I'd love to not have any more hiccups. Testing, one, two, testing. Testing, one, two. Testing, one, two. Wait on Adam, we're good. All right, we're good. Kill it, kill the love. All right. All right. Um. So now, let's go. Uh, when you want to run the program, about six fifty. Well, because you can always come back to this after that pregame is over.
Greetings, Dover fans. Are you ready for Dover Pirate football right here on the Russellville Sports Network? Tonight's game is being made possible by our friends at Razor Polish, the sharpest concrete floors in America. Pirate football is also being brought to you by Tyson Foods, feeding you and all of our athletes like family. By Heirloom Legal, helping families build and protect their legacy through estate, elder, and business planning. By Farm Credit Services of Western Arkansas, providing financing for agricultural operating needs, livestock, and equipment purchases. Dover Football on the Russellville Sports Network is proudly brought to you by Rose Drug of Russellville, caring for you, service to all. And showing their pirate pride by supporting Dover Football are the fine folks at Centennial Bank, banking with you in mind. And by Ozark Memories Day, come celebrate the time-honored tradition of Ozark Memories Day, September the 25th in Dover. All right, Dover fans, don't forget to show your support for Dover football by smashing that subscribe button and telling someone you know about pirate football on the Russellville Sports Network. Well, hoist your sails and raise that Jolly Roger high, Pirates. It's game time. Let's send it out to the stadium and the captain in command of this ship. It's the voice of the Dover Pirates. It's Mr. Duran Miller. Right, I'd like to join... Uh... Or welcome in Coach Cox here on the Razor Polish pregame show. Coach Cox, last week, uh, big loss, uh, 52 to 8 to Salem. But uh, you came out early, drove right down the field. You know, it was probably the most methodical drive of the season or, or one of the top couple and looked really good, had some things working. Could you talk to us about that drive and what, what, what did work for you? Yeah, our guys came out. Um, you know, they executed really well that first drive, really uh, bought into what we were doing. And, um, you know, it, yeah, it's just – we are, I think we converted two fourth downs on that drive to keep the drive going. And I'd like to join. Uh, you can show them afterwards and say, see, this is what you're capable of. This is who you are. This is, you know, when you're, when you're right, this is who you are. And, uh, and so, so it's great teaching because, I mean, watching the rest of the film, there's a lot that a lot of, um, you know, there's a lot where you start questioning yourself and doubting yourself. And so when you can show that and say, no, this is what you're capable of, you know, that, that Salem team, that's the biggest, most physical team we've played this year um, by far. And, and they just drove down and, and, you know, did what they wanted to do. And so that's, that's something you've got to be able, you know, especially after a game like that, look for the positives and where you can build on. Right. So, um, you know, that was, that was a shining moment in a, in a rough night. <laughs> yeah. Right. It was a tough one. Um, mm -hmm. But definitely, definitely. I uh, like what you said there, you know, there's, that was by far, me and Adam talked about that during the broadcast, that that was the most physical team we played so far. Team is big. And yeah. Uh, yeah. just, yeah, they're big, but they you could just tell that that's their, their forte is, you know, that's something yeah. they work on, just going hard every day and, and being physical. Um, yeah, I mean, there was some things there. We, we, we had some good running plays up the middle. Uh, the touchdown, you know, by mm -hmm. Great House was up the middle. Um, they made some adjustments off of it, but it seemed like later in the game, when we'd have a good first down, there'd be something happen, you know, where we right. we shoot ourselves in the foot a little bit. So um, it's good that you showed them that, you know, and kind of help them mentally to to understand that they they belong there, and, and good things can come from that. Absolutely. So your your last stop, coach, was at Heber Springs. Mm -hmm. uh, talk to us a little bit about what you know about the Heber Springs program. Well, you know, they've got you know their their. Um, they're a program that's that's you know kind of when when Dover's right, Dover's right because it's a bunch of hardworking kids that buy in, that have a great culture. And it's the same sort of thing with Heber Springs. Um, when Heber Springs is good, it's because they have kids that have bought in, hardworking, um, and have a great culture. And neither one is going to have these you know crazy all world athletes. You know, will never be worn, but right. um, but you can build a really strong program. Um, and, and it's very similar in that regard. Uh, and uh, so yeah, it was there two years. Um, and but yeah it's you know it's it's very similar in that type of culture okay well talk to us coach about some some keys to success this friday night and what we need to do to, to be in this ball game and have a chance to get a victory yeah so they're so you know defensively for us it's you know everything's they've got they've got two sophomores that are incredibly talented quarterback and, and receiver running back um that they've got uh their quarterback xander you know he he uh, i coached him when he was in seventh grade he was in eighth grade you know and then, 
Um, the other kid isn't moving. I never coached him, um, but they're really talented. They like to get them the ball in different in different ways and different places. Um, and so really containing him, you know, they're they're going to try and be creative on how to get him on the edge and get their guys on the edge. Uh, and offensively for us, it's we've got to get back to being the physical team and and take it to them. You know, uh, do essentially what we did against Salem that first drive, and we continue that for four quarters um, and control the ball. You know, they're they're uh, Coach Wood. Uh, you know, he was at Russellville before before Heber, and he was at PA for a long time before that. They've adopted a lot of PA type ideas mm-hmm. um, with the analytics in in onside kicking and all that. So we can't give them we can't give them free series, um, and we have to be able to to make a difference on special teams. And, and when we get a short field, take advantage of that. Yes, sir. <clears throat> yeah, we talked about last week's game. We can talk about that all the time, but mm-hmm. um, tonight's game is a big one. And so, like, what, what have you been doing, like, over the course of this week to keep the kids motivated and keep them in good spirits? Because, I mean, it could be pretty easy for them to just lay right. down and just be <laughs> – and just have terrible mindset right. going into the rest of the season. Right. I th- well, I think a big testament to where we are right now culturally and where these kids are and, and who these kids are, um, this was one of our better weeks of practices that we've had. Um, they – they uh, you know, our focus has always been on ourselves and continuing to improve on ourselves. And so um, I they they attacked this week. Um, and, you know, we had one practice where we had a huge downpour. And that when it's, when it's pouring down on you, that'll get some excitement. And that'll bring some, some energy to practice. But, uh-huh. but, I mean, they've just had a great week of practice, working hard. Um, there's, a, there's, there's not quitting these guys. And, you know, they show that in the fourth quarter every game so far this year. And so it's exciting to see in the week because you know – um, even though the scoreboard's not always showing what we want it to show, these guys are improving. They are getting better, and they're maximizing their reps. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they are improving, and it's nothing like having a good practice in the rain. Those, <laughs> those are always fun. Yeah. You just have a good time and be excited about that. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, Coach, well, we appreciate you coming in here on the uh, Razor Polish pregame show. Good luck Friday night. Sounds good. Go Pirates. Back to receive the Pirates at right. 21, Jeremiah Mercer. Like to join everybody in here on the game of the week this week with the Dover Pirates. Heber Springs travel down here to take on your Pirates. Opening kickoff as we speak. Got Jeremiah Mercer back to receive it. He fumbles it, picks it back up. He's going to get brought down about where he got it. It's going to be at the about the 19-yard line of Dover to start the first possession of the game. Heber Springs did uh, win the toss, and they deferred to the second half. Dover comes into this one with uh, 0-3 on the year. Took their their toughest one so far last week at the hands of the Sam Greyhounds. But uh, had a good, hard week of preparation. You you heard uh, Coach Cox on our Razor Polish pregame show talk about that. And uh, looks like they're fired up. Got a lot of support out here. Good turnout. And this team's ready to, to put that one behind them and, and start fresh right here and get some things going. First play for, is in a shotgun. Greyhouse fakes it to Brantley Craig. He's going to go up the middle. He's going to get a positive gain. Picks up about three on the play. Number 14 on the carry, John Greyhouse. Back now with number 24, Hayden Johnson. So you get about a three-yard gain on first down. Last week, Adam, you know, the Pirates came out and had one of their, their prettiest drives of the season. Went right down, to, right down the field and scored on Salem. So let's see if they can do the same thing here tonight. Beautiful first drive last week. They need something like that this week. Four wide. Brantley Craig comes in motion. That snap is going to hit him. They, I think it was a false start. Yeah. They had some movement, and uh, it's kind of good because that ball was on the ground. And uh, what we continue to see this, you get a positive – play on first down and then second down you kind of shoot yourselves in the foot so that second and medium becomes second and long you know yeah. so now we're at second and 12 after a five yard penalty that false start could have been a blessing in disguise but not how you want to start second down first down got the five yards you want to keep gaining positive yards you don't want to get backed up now it's second and long they're gonna come out in a pistol formation Kenny catch side is going to be the the far running back in the pistol Going to hand it off. Another fumbled handoff. This was on the ground. Backs him way up. They had Brantley Craig coming in motion, trying to hand it to him, and uh, just couldn't get a clean handoff there. And Pirates are moving the wrong way down the field at him. Yeah. 
a lot of things going on on that play. This wasn't a clear handoff. You know, that's something they work on in practice every day. Got to come out here and execute. Ball is now between the eight and the nine yard line. It's going to bring up third and about 21. That was a loss of six on the play. They need to give themselves a cushion. You don't want to be putting up against your goal line. Get some positive yards here and see what happens. Fake at the catch. I got a man open it up the seam, and that's number 23. For the, your Pirates, nice reception. Pass complete to number 23, Jacob Baggett. Yeah, Jacob Baggett. First time we heard his name in a while this season. He's one of them 13 sophomores for your Pirates. And uh, that's a nice pickup on third down. At least get them, get them out of their, their end zone area on the punt. So, but I do expect a punt here, Adam, on fourth oh, yeah. and eight. Yeah, definitely expect a punt deep in your own territory. Good pitch and catch there just to get themselves out of trouble. See if they can flip the field. Great House punts that one away. It's going to take a small Dover roll, and Brantley Craig will down it at the 44 yard line of Beaver Springs. We'll take a little break as the Heber Springs Panthers come out on the field, and we'll be right back right after this. We need the help of legal services. Well, let Leah Jacobs at Heirloom Legal at 425 North Church Street in Atkins be your go-to when you are needing assistance. If you're needing a will or a trust, maybe you're helping an elder parent with Medicaid issues or planning on opening a brand new business, maybe you have another legal need. Jacobs can help you plan your next step. That's Heirloom Legal, helping families build and protect their legacy through estate, elder, and business planning. Call 501-819-2553 and walk-ins are welcome. Back. Back here, the home of the Pirates. Dover's first drive goes three and out. They punted it to the Heber Springs Panthers. This is their first play from scrimmage. They're in a shotgun formation. He's got four wide receivers. Offsides. It's going to be offsides. Let's see if they're going to say he was drawing. No, it's, it's Dover jumping early and it's going to be a five yard penalty. So it's going to bring up first and five. Ball's right on the 49 yard line. Already with two penalties, not the way you want to start this football game if you're the Pirates. Got to clean this up. High formation. He's got four wide receivers, one man in the backfield alongside him. Now that man goes out left. They got trips to the left. They're going to throw this out a little screen pass. They had some blockers out in front, but he couldn't handle it. It was a forward pass, so it's going to be dead right there. It's going to bring up second and five. It was a nice little play design. They, yeah. they brought the, the tailback or with the running back out of the backfield late in motion. Tried to run him out there with a head of steam to get a block and just couldn't hold to hold on to that one. So I think he was so wide open he was just focused on catching the ball and running before he even got the ball. Got four wide again. This time quarterback's gonna roll to his right. He's gonna throw. He's left hander. He throws it behind That's number 27. He reaches back and grabs it. Slips a tackle. He's gonna get a big gain, another wow. tackle. And he's going to get all the way in the end zone for a 40, 51 yard touchdown pass from number quarterback to number 27 for the Heber Springs Panthers. 51 yard touchdown, just like that. You've got a. Uh, that was Parker Brown on the reception. He's, a, he's just a sophomore for the Panthers. Great catch of running after that catch as well. Yeah, man. Great job all the way around there by Brown. So Heber Springs strikes first, and they're going to take a 7-0 lead. We're going to take a break. We'll be back on the Wrestle Sports Network right after this. ...is your most prized possession. You want to take care of them. You want to give them the very best. And when it comes to choosing a pharmacy, you'll want someone who knows your name and understands both you and your way of life. At Rose Drug, they will take care of your family just like you were their own. They'll be someone that you can trust with the ones that you love the most. That's Rose Drug in Russellville. Call 968-1323 today. Unless he was playing as a ninth grader. I don't think... 
back here at Jack Berry Field. So Heber Springs in two plays, not counting the penalty, they march 51 yards for their first quick touchdown of the game. Take a 7-0 lead with 8.59 left in the first period. Dover's got uh, Coach uh, Coach Cox talked to us about this a lot. There's a lot of a lot of play uh, Plasky Academy kind of stuff that goes on with Heber. They do a lot of onsides, but that's why Dover's showing so many people up. One man back. This one's gonna. Mercer has a tough right. time trying to pick that one up. Tried three yeah. or four times. Finally, just kind of fell out of bounds. Covered by number 21, Jeremiah Mercer. Yeah, this had trouble Reminder, both the times senior with the class kickoff. is selling 50 50 tickets to help raise money for after end up being a great There will be students selling them in the stands, or you can purchase them at the table set up at the front entrance. The winner will be announced at the end of the third quarter. One for one dollar or six for five dollars. All right, let's see what the Pirates can do on their second drive here, Adam. Yeah, we need to get some positive yards. Don't get backed up any to penalties, you know. Got to keep moving down the field, run the football. See if they can have a long drive here. It's going to have to be a long drive. They're backed up so far. Maybe they can get some big plays. You never know. Judge is talking to Coach Cox. I have a clock issue here. Let's see. All right, looks like they've got that sorted out. First and 10 on the 11-yard line. Pirates are really spread out. There's a uh, got man-to-man -man coverage out here on their wide receivers in the slot and out wide is catcher side. Bradley Craig's in motion. They fake it to a great house reverse his course. Oh, wow. He's got the corner here. If he can get inside this man, ah, uh, that guy, that guy did a good job of getting around catcher side, getting away from him. So catcher side couldn't break him, couldn't block him. Yeah. But uh, does a good job of squelching that play. Looks like Great House had some room for a while, but yeah, it is. only going to be a one-yard pickup. Good job of reversing the field. Right, man, but number 23, Jackson Nothing was West. going on towards the right, so he went left. Got a couple yards, so. Yeah, that was Jackson West, senior for the Panthers. Pirates come out with four wide. Got catcher side in the H-back position. Now Craig comes in motion. They're going to hand it to him. He's going to turn it inside for a minimal gain. Pick up of one on the play. Yeah, it's going to bring six, up a third Bradley day. Bradley Craig. Brought down by the whole host of Panthers. So, Everybody go get you a booster burger. They're cooking them up real good tonight. So we're, uh, we're third and eight. Zaney be bringing a play in. <laughs> All right, pistol formation. Got three wide out. Catcher sides the man in the back. He's gonna fake it to him. Play action. He's got. He's throwing. He's got Craig. Craig goes up. Oh wow! Him. What and a catch! Gonna fight for it, but Craig says, "No, you're not taking it from me." Oh, he learned a lesson again. Craig. Was it Hector? Was it the Hector game? He had the one where they, they yeah, he did. away from him? Yeah, it was the Hector game. They tried game. there, and he that said, no, I don't think so. Man. He looked like Randy Moss right there, man, going up and pinpointing the ball at the top of his level. Yeah, that was a good man. job. He, he was bracketed, had a guy in front of him and behind him. What he a, went up and got it. What a catch, man, on third down. Big time catch. Great house trusts his receiver, man. Gonna be a quarterback design run. He's gonna get ripped around by his shoulder pads. He does end up falling Karen forward. Number 14, John Greathouse. Pick up a two on a play. Brought down by number 12, Zachary Parker. Hopefully that third down conversion can jump start this offense. They needed to play like that. Yeah. Give them some confidence, you know what I'm saying? Get this puppy going. 
It was a 27 yard pass completion. A false start here. Penalty marker on the play. It's going to be offsides. Offsides. Yeah, that helps us out big time right yeah. there. The second and oh, about eight turns into about second and three. Yeah. Probably expect a run here, catcher side. So Dover Pirates have 34 yards passing right now. I'm sorry, 38 yards passing right now. And uh, that's more than they've had in some entire game, so that's big. Kind of opening up a little bit. Catcher side comes in motion. Um, offsides? Yeah, offsides. Yeah, again. How about that? And that'll be a heirloom legal first down for your Dover Pirates after the five-yard mark-off. <laughs> the Pirates have now All got right, into Heber Street's territory for the first time tonight. Ball sitting just a football past the 50-yard line on the Heber Spring side. It's nice when you don't have to earn those first downs and they just that really give it to you. That will be enough for a Dover Pirate. All right, let's see what we do. We got trips to the left for Great House. Brantley Craig comes from the H-back position. They're going to zone read it. Great House will keep. They read that one well, though, yeah. and he's not going to get much. He does cool, do a good job of not losing yards. Picks up a ball. They're going to mark it right back at the line of scrimmage. Yeah. Good job so by no the defensive game. line of Heber. Defense ends the most important part of that play for the defense because they're the, they're the ones that's getting red. Yes. And, and Heber did a good job staying home on the, on the outside and the inside yeah. there. You got to pass the blocks. And he started to line up off sides there. Did you see him back up? <laughs> see, catch your side. Keep, great house keeps. Get outside. Oh, get back inside. Man. <laughs> he does a good job oh, of dancing, goodness, but man. I mean, he's just. Nowhere to go. You got to make about five guys miss to yeah. get out of that, and he just couldn't do it. He did all he could, but he's going to lose five yards on the play. Brought down by number 14. That one was a tackle by number 14, Chris Edwards, for the Heber Springs Panthers. See if we can get another pass on third down and long. Brought down by number 14. Had a lot of success so far on third down throwing the football. Yeah, um, we've, we've got two completions, one for a first down, one was short, but uh, kind of got them out of their own end zone at least. Yeah. So we got one wide, or well, we got three wide, one way to the right. Catcher side comes in motion, fakes it to him. They're going to throw this out throw. on the sideline. That's Colton Shuffield. He makes, kind of rolls off one man, gets back to the original line That's of scrimmage. Maybe Colton a yard after Shuffield. that, but it's not going to be near enough for the first down. And we should see a punting team here. Yeah. Good job of getting positive yards. Just they had a long way to go. <laughs> Low percentage on third and 15. So yeah, we'll give him a gain of five on that one. Good seeing Colton Sheffield. He's just a sophomore, and that boy has a lot of speed. We've noticed that a couple times. Play some good defense. Uh, he's played some good defense on pass defense at times this year. No one back, and they're just gonna let this one roll inside the 10. Good they're punt. Down at the eight yard line. Good punt. Yep, very good punt. It's going to be a net gain of 41 yards. I did do, learn my math at Dover, so you'll have to give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> 41 yards from the 49 to the 8-yard line. Reminder, the senior class is selling 50-50 tickets to help raise money so, for the afterthought. Great House has a 35-yarder and a 41-yarder. He's had a pretty good year, but a lot of it has to do with, uh, the will be you know, he's punting from the quarterback court. position as one it is kind of a pooch punt, so everybody plays him kind of deep, and uh, Dover's done a good job of getting some really good rolls and getting some good yards off of it. A lot of times they have Brantley Craig running down there as a gunner, and uh, he does a great job of downing that inside the end zone, or inside the 20. Quarterback, Good job. keeper, draw play up the middle. He breaks a couple tackles, but Dover did a, had a pretty good pursuit number there. Number six, Xander Lindley on the carry. He does fall forward for five-yard pickup. Brought down by number 70, Eric Walters. That's Xander Lindley, quarterback. Got the privilege of calling some of his games last year in basketball. He's a good young athlete. They got five wide receivers. 
rolling to his left. He's got a man in the slot. He's going to get the first down, get out of bounds. He's like Kenny Ketcherside rode him out of bounds there. Pass complete to number 18, Don Yancey, brought down by number 20, Kenny Ketcherside. to the outside, he's got the corner and gets the sideline and does a good job. He's gonna pick up another first down on this run. Okay, that was Gus Hammond. Gus Hammond, number 28, Zay Eby. That was a 20 yard pickup. Dover's gonna have to get some penetration in the backfield, get some negative plays. Yeah, and they definitely gotta gotta set the edge a little better. That's something that they've struggled with this year, and that's what Heber's doing. They're attacking the outsides. So. Yeah. Back to pass. Lindley's Rose is left. He's gonna take off. Run out of bounds after about a three to four yard gain on first down. Here by number six, Xander Lindley. They got a little pressure on him there, but he's able to get on the outside, get some positive yards. First down to number nine, Peyton White. Heber comes out with four wide, one man in the backfield alongside quarterback Xander Lindley. Slot man comes in motion. He's going forward when a ball was snapped, nothing called. There and it's it up the middle, and Dover does a good job of keeping it to a, about a yard and a half gain. That was number 27 on the carry, Parker Brown. He had the big long number touchdown. 27, run early Parker today. Brown on the carry. Brought down by number 51, Hudson Nets. I said run, but he had that 51 yard. Reception for a yeah. touchdown earlier. One handed grab, too. Big third down. Need to get off the field. Five wide. One well, false slot man comes in motion. Sure. Yep. They're going to back him up five on this one. Wow. A little jet sweep action out of the slot man. Legal procedure against the Panthers. That'll help. Third and long now. Yep, third and about 11. They're going to have to get up to the 50-yard line to get a first down. Let's go, Pirates, see if we can hold them here. Dover comes out with four defensive linemen. You've got Great House. Get your, uh, your boundary cornerback. Nobody's over to slot man right now. Let's see if they... These corners are backing up. Yep, let's see if they bring a linebacker out. They don't, so he's got a slot man, 27 wide open. Pressure. Got pressure on road. He's got a man oh, wide wow. open behind there, but oh. he drops it. My goodness. Those are the hardest ones to catch, Adam, when you're wide open. All you got to <laughs> do is pull it in, and sometimes you take your eyes off, you're looking at how much green space oh, you got man. or that guy, how far behind you he is. <laughs> you get so greedy when you're wide open. Yeah, like here's your Centennial Bank replay. You can see it. Number 28, He's wide open. Goodness. The bullet. So we got fourth and 11. Let's see if they decide to punt. Looks like they're going for it unless they're pooching from the quarterback position. Oh, wow. That's he awesome. is going for That's it. He's got football. a man wide open down the middle. If he catches it, he's, he oh, drops down. Oh, my one. goodness. Yep, wide open. Oh, Quarterback wow. Xander Lindley laid it in there to number 18. Number 18, that's Dalton Yancey. He had that big first down completion earlier out of that slot, and uh, he can't pull it in. So the Pirates are going to take over right there on a the 40, and uh, you'll man, take it. They need to take advantage of that, man. Dodge the bullet twice, two wide open receivers. Yeah, you, There's you, a lot going through your mind as a receiver when you're wide open like that. You're just 
You know, you're just you ready know. to score a touchdown and at that point. The second one's tough because you just saw your, your teammate drop a wide open touchdown and then when you you know you're already thinking about it, well man, I yeah. wouldn't do that or you don't we want gotta to be focus, that guy. And then you do it back to back plays. That yeah. that's that's tough. That get your side of motion, he's back to pass. Oh no. intercepted. Let's go, Craig, run him down. Gonna run all the way back, number 21, for a touchdown. Picked it off at about the 22 yard line. It's gonna be about a 78 yard return. Touchdown, Panthers. Man. Let's see, what number was that? Number 21. 21. That is, he is not on our roster sheet. That's a tough one. I, I guess they were due for a touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, not good right there. Uh, didn't like the pursuit after the after interception. You know, I wish you could see a little more fight there to, to get him tackled. But it is what it is. 78-yard return for the Heber Spring Panther, and they're going to take a – 14 and nothing lead after the extra point. We'll take a break. We'll be back on the Russell Sports Network right after this. Don't make me eat them all again this week. Back here at Jack Berry Field, Pirates down 14 nothing after a 78 yard pick six by the Heber Springs Panthers. Heber likes to kick a lot of onside kicks. Back to see for your Pirates at number six. They got 10 Brantley men Craig. within 10 yards of the football, within 15 yards of the football, and Brantley Craig's the lone receiver. Mercier started out back there. This one is going to be there onside. Is. Good job by uh, Zach Stang, number four. No. Nope. Number nine. Recovered by number nine, number Peyton nine. White. Yep, Peyton White. Just a sophomore. Dover's going to have decent field position starting at their own 45 yard line. Did a, lot job, did a lot better job there fielding that kick. First two times had a lot of trouble. See if they can put together a good drive here. Need one for sure. Need to bounce back off that interception. Brantley Craig in motion, hand it to catch side up the middle. Good job right there on the line to, to grab a hold of him and rip him down. Grab him down. a strong 20. lineman there to do that to catch, catch side because he don't, he don't stop that easily. No, he doesn't. And uh, he gets back to the line right of scrimmage from the second team. Catcher side, he might be low in stature, but man, he's tough to bring down. He gets he gets some legs going. He's a strong guy. Little zone read. Great there house finds is. the spot. And he's gonna get some positive yards. Big pop at the end. Quarterback keeper by number 14, John. Great so house. Pick up about seven on the play by Great House. Good read. Good yeah. job right hitting, that, zone, hitting that little seam that Tristan opened up in front of Eason. him. Really good job blocking there, too, by the offensive line. So we're going to have third and three, and we're going to have a timeout, it looks like. That will be in the end of your first quarter. Oh, end of the first period. 
with the Hebrew Springs Panthers up 14 nothing. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with more Dover Pirate football right after this. 50, 50 tickets to help raise money for after play. That banking is more than just a financial transaction. It's a relationship. Whether you're opening your first checking account, buying the home of your dreams, or starting a new business, we want to be right there with you. Our team is dedicated to helping you find the tools you need to reach your financial goals. That's why at Centennial, it's not just banking. It's banking with you in mind. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender, NMLS number 466091. Must have Centennial Bank checking account to receive debit card. Replacement fees may apply. All loans subject to credit and property approval. That was a great time. Go get you one of them tasty booster burgers. Barry Field. Starts in a pistol formation. Hands off the catcher side. He's going to do the side step to the right. Ball comes out at the end. Nah, ball He's fighting for forward yardage. He was down. Ground is down by number 20. Yeah, they're not calling Kenny, it. catch your side. I didn't see a. Right down by number 58. Yeah, I didn't see him marking as a fumble. So, yeah, they're going to say he picked up one yard. Fourth and two for your Pirates at the. A big decision here. They go for it. Don't want to get too desperate at the beginning of football games, but that backs up off the oh, there. Got him they to get him off sides. Side. Holy cow! And the Pirates are gonna get a heirloom legal first down. Good job by Greathouse. Did a hard count there. Kind of stomp his foot and defense. really bark it out and hurt. <laughs> no. yeah, but, uh, it's worked for, for uh, two first downs and a yeah. uh, total of 15 yards so yeah, far. Yeah, man, they've, they've drawn them off, off sides a couple or times already. That's play for a 27-yard pass. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. That was a great by Craig. Backfield. Got a little H-back spot. Got some room. Great house keeps it. Uh, run over the right side. Hard, good hard hit by number 21. We don't have this number. He's going to pick up about four and a half yards. Back down by number 21, Chris Edwards. Pirates can get another first down on this drive. Go down and score it. Back to six. Oh, it's six. Motion. Hand it, hand it to Craig. Get outside, baby. Get outside. Cut it in. Oh, really blocking good. the back. They're going to. Got in there a little too quickly before yeah. that defender got around. And, uh, mm -hmm. 10 yards or 15 yards. Still back. Got him on the back side. Tried to block him from the side and something. Still backs the old. I don't, but the guy's not looking your way. Hey, those are your favorite. To oh, get, you know, man. You just I used to love. <laughs> Especially if you can't do that no more. No. Lag any. any. Yeah, the I mean, it's a, now. Yeah, the fillback. We'll be blocking back against the Pirates.
personal foul against the Pirates and the Panthers. They will offset. Ball's going to be on the 49 yard line. Get to the 32 for a first down. Try doing a hard count. Five of the back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Second eight word. Treehouse keeps a long way. He's going to be tackled, yeah. Put the ball in the Got the trick. Greenhouse had one of his own. Running backs hit him back. Huh? Happened Worked multiple out. times. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. But it was stacked out there. The one defender, so I was like. That was called right off the bat, anyways. But. So on that pass, he picks up about eight. They're going to punt it, low snap, he gets it off, end over end kick. Going to bound and kind of side bounce. He's going to stay right there. Be down at the 24 yard line of Salem. We'll take a break. We'll be back with more Dover Pirate football right after this. Farm credit supports rural communities and agriculture with reliable, consistent credit and financial services in good times and bad. We provide loans to farmers and ranchers, farmer-owned cooperatives, rural homebuyers, agribusinesses, and rural infrastructure providers. As cooperatives, we're locally owned and governed. We help agricultural producers feed the world. For America's farmers, farm credit supporting rural communities and agriculture. Learn more today. Here at Jack Berry Field, Heber Springs comes out with five wide. We're gonna throw it out to the left, little screen pass out of the slot. He's got a he's man got a beat, and he's gone. Nobody has a chance. He's out of here. And they started that one at the 24. That's gonna be a 76-yard touchdown pass. Let's see what number that was. It received it. Is that number 27 again? I think so. Yeah, it was. That's Parker Brown. And Parker Brown has a 51-yard touchdown and a 76-yard touchdown now to his name. Having a nice night. Yeah, he's having a great game tonight. He caught that one just there was nobody around him. He nope. just busted he through, just... and it was just green grass, and yeah. he showed off some speed there. One man to miss, and he was gone. That's all he needed. Extra points up and good. 21 nothing. Heber Street Panthers lead your Dover Pirates. We'll take another break. We'll be back on the Russellville Sports Network right after this. Farm credit supports rural communities and agriculture with reliable, consistent credit and financial services in good times and bad. We provide loans to farmers and ranchers, farmer-owned cooperatives, rural homebuyers, agribusinesses, and rural infrastructure providers. As cooperatives, we're locally owned and governed. We help agricultural producers feed the world. For America's farmers, farm credit supporting rural communities and agriculture. Learn more today. It's just incredible. 
And we're back at Jack Berry Field. Hammer Springs is up 21-0 over your Dover Pirates with 8.01 left in the first half. Brantley Craig's back deep for your Pirates. The rest of the Dover Pirates are within 15 yards of that football because they like to onside kick it a lot. They're going to kick this one a little short. Craig's got to get over. That's a live football. Going to pick it up, run to his left. He's got three men to beat. He fumbles. Oh, no. I'm not sure. No. Yeah, Beaver Springs has it. Heber Springs are going to take over after the fumble by Brantley Craig, trying to make something out of nothing. Had no blockers down there. It's just all by himself. It's, it's one of those things where if you're going to run 10 men up there and one man 30, 40 yards down the field, they'll try to kick it in between you. you know? yeah. and that's kind of what happened there. He picked it up, and he had a bunch of white jerseys he had to try to beat, try to make something out of it. And, and when you're struggling like that, carrying the ball a little loose, they poke it free. And that's just part of the analytics that Heber does, and uh, it pays off right there. That's why they do these kind of things. Yeah. They get you to do something that you're not used to doing, and it worked out. Five wide. Xander Lindley back in the gun. He's going to throw it out quickly to number nine in the slot. He's going to get push the pile. He's going to get all the way to the – Oh, he's in. Touchdown. Touchdown, Panthers. That's a 14-yard touchdown pass from Xander Lindley to number four. Easton Cusick. 27 nothing, just like that. PAT and ceiling here for your pan for the Panthers. It's up and good. And it's 28 nothing with 747 left in the half. PAT that, is good. That was a it's been 13 seconds since the last score by the Heber String Panthers, and they put another seven on the board. We'll take a break. We'll be back with more Dover Pilot football right after this. Nothing came easy, but with just five cents, an old truck, and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot, because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise, to always keep it real, to always keep it Tyson. All right, we're back at Jack Berry Field. Same kick return formation for the Pirates. Let's see what Heber does here. They're gonna do the same thing. It looks like they were offside on the kickoff. Yeah, Offsides against kicking game. We try it. They're trying to kick it into no man's land over there. Yeah. All that green grass. So they backed him up five, kicking from the 40 now. Let's see what Heber does. Dover's gonna, no, they backed him up 10. Well, they backed him up five. They never backed up the first one. Yeah. Here we go. Everybody waits on that one. He's gonna kick it deep. This is more Big like kick. it. Yeah. He's got a lot of room. If he can get some blocks, he'll have. He does a good job. Picks up about 20 on the return. Big return. So he wraps it down six. at the 33, 34 yard line of Dover. And that's where your fire will start to drop. So far, Xander Lindley for the Heber Street Panthers. He has a 51 yard touchdown pass, 76 yard touchdown, and 14 yard touchdown pass. Well, he's on fire right now. Yeah. In the first half, it's still 7:41 to go. Even those drop passes, I mean, he's been, he's been, yeah, he's yeah, throwing the ball right on the touchdown. money too. The other touchdown was the the 78-yard uh, interception return. So yeah. they, I mean, they've had some huge, big plays. Low snap, little misdirection handoff. I like that. Got to have more of those. Catch your side. You get much blocking on that second level. They come down and close that hole quickly. 
Forward progression is going to get him up to the 35 yard line, so he'll pick up two on the play. Good play design. He wasn't able to pop. Yeah, I love the misdirection, though. Kind of do that more often. Then they got to start, you know, playing that straight up. And right. quarterback can keep it, or they can hand it to Craig, or whoever else they got back there going the other direction. Got three wide out, two to the left, one to the right. Catch side to H Mac. They're going to give it to him on an underneath double handoff. Uh, one man to beat. Going to keep those legs yeah. turning, get some four yards. He'll pick up about two on it. We'll call it three. Carry number bring 20. Up third and five. Catch his side. You're seeing it right there on your Centennial Bank replay. Good job. Good hard running by catcher side. He's always going to bring that no matter what. You're going to have to, to grab him below the waist right, to get him down. Six, one, yeah. All right, so we got third and, and medium here. Let's see what the Pirates can do with it. Third and five. Four wide receivers. Got one man as a H back. No man in motion. It's going to be a quarterback keep all the way. And uh, had a lot man, of penetration in the back. Yeah, you know, defensive tackle there, number 69. He just got straight through there. Quarterback keep number 14, John Dustin McCosh. We kind of had some issues getting the roster right for uh, Hebert and I. But, uh, he says he's a sophomore. Good play by that sophomore. Also says Xander Lindley's a sophomore. Now, I did him in basketball. Unless he was a our ninth grader playing, and I don't remember that, then uh, I don't think he's a sophomore. So some of those uh, classes could be off, but uh, I think we got all the numbers right, except for number 21. We don't know who that is, and he had that big play earlier. I think he had the interception return, possibly. Yeah, that was the pick six. Punt in formation. Great House gets a good one away. Nobody back there. He doesn't get a great Dover bounce. He's going to round off and go down it at the 34-yard line, 33-yard line, excuse me. Ozark Memories Day singles in the time for fall and fall festivals, football season every year. Ozark Memories Day is put on the Dover Area Chamber of Commerce is raising money that will go back to the community to help maintain the Dover City Park Amphitheater, the Square, and other projects done by the Chamber. This year, Ozark Memories Day will open with a pancake breakfast put on by the Lions Club, a parade, a car show, a kids' activity area, pony ride, sanctioned cornhole tournament, beauty pageant. 3 on 3 basketball tournament, best pioneer costume competition, and much, much more. For more information, visit Dover Ozark Memories Day.com and sponsor the are welcome. Meanwhile, the Dover Pirates force a fumble and recover it. Hudson Mintz. And Kenny uh, Ketcherside. Ketcherside recovers it, Mitt strips it out. Dover's got got something working here, and with a short field to go at the their own at the Salem. I'm sorry, at the Heber Springs 36, <laughs> 36 yard line. Yeah, he's a big play right there. Needed needed that man. They need some momentum, get some confidence, get some positivity going. See if they can punch this one in. Really good play right there, getting the strip sack, got some penetration. Brantley Craig in motion. Shotgun snap, gonna fake it to him. Greyhouse gonna keep it. Good job by the linebacker coming down and, and hitting Greyhouse. And we got a flag. Oh, wow. That's gonna be on Heber. Late hit, threw down. Oh, One of the Dover Pirates trying to see that number, 78. That's, uh, I believe it's. That will be a personal foul against the Panthers. Eli Jacobs, yes. And that will be a. Like a 15 yarder. Yep, 15 yarder from the spot of the play. That will be enough for a Dover That's Pirate. That's a heirloom legal first down. Gets the ball all the way up to the 21 yard line. Good opportunity here for the Pirates. No, no turnovers, no fumbled snaps, no penalties. Just make Heber Springs play a straight up and earn a stop yeah. if they're going to make one. You need clean football. Looks like we got a timeout here. Check and see. The play clock issue. Yeah, you know the play, play clock issue. 
Yep, there we go. Get that clock rolling. 505 and, and rolling now. All right, pistol formation. On the 44, Landon Metters is the H back. Gonna fake this to catch your side. He's gonna roll around, <laughs> scramble around. Decided to take off at the last second. Had some backside pursuit. Forced him out of there. And Quarterback keep running with Blake. Like, like John, great. It's like it's gonna be about a yard shy of getting right, back to the line of scrimmage. The well, that'll be a sack. Second and eleven. Could have been a lot worse. They're really going to step on loss of two on it. Second and 12. Yeah. See if they can get something going here in the red zone, man. Well, they're not quite in the red zone yet. But. We got Metters and Craig in motion. He faces it to Craig. Just getting penetration every time before he can do anything. Oh. He does a good job getting out of a wide. So get a block. Craig. Oh, man. Craig had to block two different guys there, and he couldn't get them both. And no. There's a flag, though. There's definitely a flag. Let's see if it's a holding or what, what the call is. It is a holding on right. Dover. Not good. It's going to be 10 yards right there from that. They, if they accept it, it'll be 10 yards from the spot. Holding is fired. It is declined. Yeah, I had a feeling they might decline it because yeah. it's it's going to bring up third and about 15. Yeah, I don't want to give them extra downs. Yeah, and they haven't shown, they've shown one pass that they could really, you know, throw it down the field and, and, and kind of take the top off the defense. So, Beaver's going to play the, play what they got here and take their chances. Third and 15, great house in the shotgun. Craig in motion. Greyhouse keeps up the middle. He's got a little bit of room. He does a good job. He he's got really good. Under, really, his footwork is is kind of what do you call it? Uh, Number fourteen on the carry, John Greyhouse. Underrated. It, underrated. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. And uh, you know, he he a lot of times he'll be in a lot of stuff that he shouldn't be getting out of it. And he and he somehow finds a way to to move around and yeah. shift his body and get another yard or two that he shouldn't. He kind of did that there. He hit a. He kind of hit a wall of people and somehow kind of turned it to the left and fell forward. And that's a good job. I mean, for such a small kid, if y'all really saw this John up, up close, you know, you would realize that uh, he's not packing a whole lot. And <laughs> no. to, to fall forward a lot of times the way he does in the pile is really impressive. Yeah, he's a tough kid, man. And like you said, he's, he's super skinny, man. He, doesn't, he ain't got a lot of weight on him. He picked up about eight on the play. He's a fighter. And bring up fourth and seven they're going for it same thing he does what he can but it's not going to be enough falls forward it's close to the line of scrimmage a lot of times we forget you know he's back in the shotgun when he's getting the ball he's five six yards deep and yeah looks like they called it a loss of one i think they just tried to spread him out and get that quarterback draw up the middle a lot of times that works i mean we see it work a lot of times in the nfl I think Sam Darnold did that this weekend in <laughs> quarterback yeah. draw in the red zone, touchdown. Right, the former USC out the quarterback. Yep. Yeah, the uh, Hebrews doing a good job on their line of uh, getting penetration almost every play. A lot of those plays are, would work normally. You look like, oh, well, you got my, got the edge here, but then here comes someone from the inside. Just tears it up before you can get a yard upfield. Stang was showing got blitz. Pressure. Now he's lining up. Oh, quarterback throws this one away. Get a pass? Yeah, he gets past the line of scrimmage. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, outside the tackle box, yeah. no grounding. That's the second time in a row they've been able to get pressure on the quarterback. Yeah, that was a good job on the defense right there. Number 77 for your Pirates comes in, play a little bit D-line. Lane Walker, it's a senior. You got Zach Stain in the secondary. Zane Eby's out there. Jeremiah Mercier playing safety. You got Peyton Watt playing that middle linebacker spot right now. He's reading the quarterback's eyes. He's got a man right flag with him. Too. There's a flag. Quarterback's going to keep it. And he's going to round it off for probably be real a, close to the first down. There's two flags now. Oh, probably holding. You like to see Coach Cox. Well, that wasn't Cox. That was uh, Phillips right there. 
patting Peyton White on the back. Peyton White did a good job covering that slot guy. That guy had a lot of speed. And uh, he did a good job of running flat down the line and stretching that, stringing it out a little bit. Let's see what the call is. Holding, Holding. on Heber. Pirates are going to accept this one. And that's going to back them up from second and... See. There will be a holding against the Panthers. Wow. It was way in the backfield, so it's going to... They back backed him, up super far. <laughs> back them all the way up to about the seven-yard line. So yeah. Hard to see from this far over. So it's going to be about second and 22. Can't give up any big plays right here. Got to play sound defense. Quarterback rose to the right. Oh, he's looking back. Oh, a little trick play. Pass. And that's Brown. There's a flag. He makes all kinds of men miss. Man. Look at this boy. Holy cow. And he busts out of there. Zach Stain from the far side is the only guy. Might have an angle, and he's not going to get there. I thought I saw a flag fly around, but I don't see it. So, Holy I apologize. What a play by him, man. From the seven-yard line. Wow. He's a... Uh, He's putting up some, some national top stats. <laughs> oh, my I mean, goodness, man. That's going to be. That's the third touchdown so far. 93 yards on that one. Oh, flag. oh, there is a flag. I thought I saw one. It was in the middle of the field or something. Oh, I see it. I see it down there now. The nine yard line on the oh, very far oh, side of the field. Oh, man. It's right there on the G. Let's get that. Oh, it's on the goal line. Yeah. Yeah, right on the G, man. Woo. That's that's good because he was supposed to get some national accolades. Holy that, cow, man! Yeah. I mean, that was a he made some guys miss and look good on. Yeah, him. he's just a sophomore according to the sheet. Oh, now they're Wait going down here. Wait a minute. Might be a flag on Dover. It's gonna hey, be a touchdown. It. Whatever it was, we missed it. But Heber declines the penalty. And Barker was targeting against the Pirates. Yeah, it was targeting on the Pirates. Couldn't see, he was showing us the... I, I had a hard time seeing what he was doing there. It looked like he was grabbing, like a... I don't know, but... Not sure. It didn't look like the normal targeting call where you put the hand up to the side of your head. But, yeah. Um, it might not have been targeting. So that's going to be a 93-yard TD reception. Extra point. Flag. Flag on this one. Let's see if Dover jumped offside. It's on Dover, offsides. It's a dead ball penalty, so they're going to have to re kick it or go for two if they want. Offside against the defense. So they'll re-kick it. Kicker for Heber is Chandler Weber. High snap. They get it down. He kicks a line drive, low wobbler over the good job by the Heber. Is good. Does a good job of getting it through. So 35 nothing is your score. Heber Springs with 158 left in the first half. We're going to take a break. We'll be back on RSN right after this. We need the help of legal services. Well, let Leah Jacobs at Heirloom Legal at 425 North Church Street in Atkins be your go-to when you are needing assistance. If you're needing a will or a trust, maybe you're helping an elder parent with Medicaid issues or planning on opening a brand new business, maybe you have another legal need. Jacobs can help you plan your next step. That's Heirloom Legal, helping families build and protect their legacy through estate, elder, and business planning. Call 501-819-2553 and walk-ins are welcome. Back here at Jack Berry Field, 35-0. Heber Springs Panthers lead your Dover Pirates. 
158 left in the half. Dover's got one man back. Ten men up there close to the line of, you know, close to the, the kickoff, within 15 yards of it. Trying to watch out for this onside kick that uh, Heber loves to run. We'll see if Heber continues to try to kick it in the in between. Take what Dover gives them. See if that's their best odds. Some type of issue going on here. I think that flag at the end of the play on the touchdown, they, they won it, they accepted it, and I think they just. Yeah, on the, on the kickoff. Yeah. That's what we got. They for, and the refs forgot when they lined it up. And right. They remembered. So yeah. A probably Heber Spring coach said, "Hey, what about our flag?" And they fixed it. Here's the kickoff. He's gonna kind of pooch it up, up man. Duck. I guess he called a fair catch. I, the time I looked at him, I didn't see it, but they'll pull, call it dead right there, about the 25 yard line. That's where Dover's gonna take over. That was 27, I believe, on the it's sophomore Matt Crocker. Did a good job of fielding that one. We've got two minutes left here in this first half. We need a big play. Maybe we'll see Brindley Craig get you get a catch. Great house throw a bomb here. <laughs> Craig is starting out wide to the right. It's going to be a quarterback read. He's going to keep it. Catcher side is going to lead block for him. It's a good first down play. He's going to get up over the 30 to 31 yard line. It's going to be a pickup of number 14 on the carry. John Greathouse. Got that as the 11th carry so far for Great House, not counting a couple penalties. Number 20 leading the way for him over there. Kitty, catch your side. He's got a big load to carry every week. Yeah, it was a good job of catch side after the read to, to get back in front and lead block for him. This is a fake it to the Man in motion, give it the catch side up the middle. He'll pound it forward. Yeah, he'll pound back to the line of scrimmage. About a foot yard, about a foot gain. Officially going to bring up third and four. Craig's favoring some type of leg injury right now, but he's still out there. Yeah, he's a tough kid. Has to do a lot. Keeps the ball a lot back there at quarterback. Yeah. He's been running for his life. He's got a he's had a man in the backfield with him almost every single play <laughs> today. Yeah, man. Watch the the three down linemen for Heber on this play and the linebackers and see how they penetrate and what they how they fit up. Got eight men coming forward. He comes right through the yeah. line off the right side and, and tackles catcher side right at the line of scrimmage. Round and pound by number twenty. Kenny, catcher side. Heber's just gonna let the clock run out and not call timeout. Yeah, Dover's not going to worry about it either. This That's probably going to be your last Go play. Go get you a booster burger, folks. The real tasty tonight. That will be the last play of your half. We're going to take a little break. We'll be back here with some halftime activities and the halftime show right after this on the Russellville Sports Network. We need the help of legal services. We'll let Leah Jacobs at Heirloom Legal at 425 North Church Street in Atkins be your go-to when you are needing assistance. If you're needing a will or a trust, maybe you're helping an elder parent with Medicaid issues or planning on opening a brand new business, maybe you have another legal need. Jacobs can help you plan your next step. That's Heirloom Legal, helping families build and protect their legacy through estate, elder, and business planning. Call 501-819-2553 and walk-ins are welcome. I hope he's not working. And that's what I really like about Sam Pittman. He's always genuine, and I really think he's very happy to be at the University of Arkansas. Did I put a, a question mark in the teleprompter again? I forget you literally read that thing like exactly as it's written. Oh, come on, Bill. You know you're just as off the cuff as Sam Pittman is. At least y'all ain't got a, a wasp nest out here to deal with the size of Brad's head. <laughs> 
if people only knew what went on behind the scenes. Oh, I know. For real, this is not Sports Center. Are you live? to welcome Gunnar Cates in on our Scenic 7 Showcase on Wheels Halftime Show. Gunnar Cates, you were named our Tyson Player of the Game last week, and uh, tell us uh, what that meant to you. Well, I, when I first heard it, I was like, well, this is the first time I ever had Player of the Game in general. I was excited. I was in fifth quarter when I, when I heard it, cause, you know, and I got a text from my my dad saying that you got player of the game like oh my god i got player of the game <laughs> pretty cool 
Yeah, um, you know, the reason myself and Adam and our uh, producer, Aaron Powers, the reason we uh, we picked you is because uh, you had a good game all throughout, but late in that game, when we were down bad, 52-8, to eight, you made a couple on that last drive. You were still playing hard, making tackles. Yet I think I know one of them was behind the line of scrimmage. I think maybe both of them were, yeah. and uh, that that impressed us. So that is why we chose chose you for that award. And uh, just tell us, uh, you know, what it's like to to be playing, you know, through the whistle every time. Oh, it's it's hard work and everything else. It, it, it's it's a mental game basically. If you if you if you if you sit there and play. You can sit there's put yourself in situations where you're like, well, maybe we maybe if I don't know, play hard this one play, you, if you don't play, everybody has to play hard, but there's people on there play harder than others. Right. And you sit there and think to yourself, if I'm one of the people that just want to sit there and do nothing on the field and just just sit there and just wants to hit them and doesn't do anything, the other teams want to score, no matter what, even right. though you're 52 to nothing. You still have to play your heart out. That's how I think about it. Like, I don't care if you lose it. It's a team. You're still playing for your family. Your family. Your family's on that field with you. You right. just can't you let up one game. You're risking someone else getting hurt. Right. And you're a senior on this team, and that just shows, you know, leadership that you're leading by example, playing to the whistle, never quitting. No matter no matter how bad it looks, uh, what's going on in the particular game you're in, playing through to the whistle uh, is – giving your best and that's that's the one thing you can always give is your 100 percent. so that's awesome uh talk to us a little bit about having coach cox back for a year or two and what that's meant to the program well, over the, the first off season. the first year coach cox came, came here i was like well this is our new uh, guy brand new head coach again to see how this is <laughs> gonna go he came back he seemed pretty cool you know second year coming around like uh this, this is the best coach you probably could have had in two years mm-hmm we had a bunch of coach swaps and everything for the past two years, and uh, he, he decides Coach Cox loves us and, and all, mm-hmm. and I hope he stays with Dover for the rest of the time. So, Coach was at Heber Springs the last two seasons, and uh, have y'all given him a hard time about playing his old team any this week? All the or? time. All the, all the time. time. Right. That's we, awesome. We, we, we all know Coach Cox hates Heber Springs. Right. <laughs> Coach Scott just walked in the room when he said that. It's pretty funny. <laughs> all right, well, uh, Gunner Case, we appreciate it. Keep playing hard out there, playing through the whistle, and uh, that's going to be all on our Scenic 7 Showcase on Wheels halftime show. Thank you.
There will be students selling them in the bleachers and over by the front entrance. The winner will be announced at the end of the third quarter. One for a dollar and six for five dollars. Okay, back here at halftime. Pirates getting ready to get back out on the field. Halftime show is almost over. Pirates took that one on the chin in the first half. They're at them 35 nothing. The quarterback for Xander Lindley for the Hebrew Springs Panthers. He's got Touchdown passes of 51 yards, 76 yards, 14 yards, and 93 yards. I've got unofficially 242 yards at halftime passing for him with four touchdown passes. And his main go-to man was number 27. That's Parker Brown. We're showing he's just a sophomore. Not 100% on that, but uh, he's got a 51-yard touchdown, a 76-yard touchdown, and a 93-yard touchdown for a total of 221 yards receiving a half. And that's not counting the big 78 yard interception return they had for their fifth touchdown.
number 21, which we don't have his name. So that's a huge night so far in the first half. Explosive plays after explosive plays for the Heber Springs Panthers. And uh, Dover has really never settled in, had a much of a long drive. When they did start having some success, they would fumble it or, or have a penalty and something kind of back them up. So opening kickoff here is a fair catch, kind of a short kick, fielded about the 30-yard line. 28-yard lines where they're going to mark it, and that's where the Heber Springs Panthers will start their opening drive of the second half. They did win the toss to start this game, elected to kick off. So now they're getting it back. Hope you enjoyed some of the band play at halftime. Some cheerleaders we were able to show a little bit of that for you this week. So here we are. Panthers come out with four wide, one man in the backfield alongside Lindley. He's going to throw it out quickly to number one. He makes a man miss, gets up the seam, breaks some tackles, gets upended a little bit after a pickup of about eight or nine on the play. That's number four, Easton Cusick. Pass completes number four, brought down by number four, Zach Stang. Zach Stang on a tackle for your Pirates. Cusick is, uh, he had the 14 yard touchdown pass earlier tonight. Yeah. That was a really tough catch there. Had to jump up and grab that one. Ball was a little air milled. It's crazy not seeing uh, Parker Brown catch the football for once. Flags on a play, false start on the play. Legal procedure. Legal procedure against the offense. Second and eight is going to turn, or second. About two is going to turn into second and about seven. Heber's getting a call from the sideline. Got four wide, one man in the backfield. No tight ends. Got an uncovered man in the slot. Now Mercier gets on him. Got to throw up the seam. and uh, The ball is uncatchable. It was very uncatchable. No need to make that contact there. Could have been some incidental. Even if it was catchable, it might have been some incidental contact and the ref just let him go. Yep. So it's going to bring up a third down. So the Pirates do a good job of getting them into third down on this opening drive and see if they can hold them. Need to have their eyes on Parker Brown. Definitely. And he's lined up by the quarterback playing running back now. He's done most of his damage in the passing game, though. All right, so they got four wide again, one man in the backfield. He's going to swing out to the right. Quarterback's going to dodge him in, take off, running over the right side. He's not going to make a first down, though, and he'll go out of bounds. Good stop. Now let's see if they, okay, but number six, if they decide to punt him. You know, this is, uh, this is a coach that learned a lot from Plask Academy, coach under uh, Coach Kelly, mm -hmm. and he's now moved on to the college ranks. Yeah, but, he's doing a great job yeah, in is. college ranks, man. Yeah, he's break, breaking records his first Presbyterian week. Presbyterian College or something like that. Yeah. Somewhere in South Carolina. Dropped like 84 a couple weeks ago. And unless this is a pooch punt, which I think it is. Yep. Well, man in motion. Oh, he got him to jump off sides. It'll be a first down. Got a little antsy there, trying to get off the field, trying to make a big play. Get a little eager, that's what happens. Got to stay even kill. First and 10 for Heber Springs. Ball's on the 41 yard line. Four wide, We've been a four wide this entire drive. Mm -hmm. 27 Parker Brown is beside the quarterback. Now he goes in motion. Now they're gonna be five wide. Brown's gonna sit down. He's gonna roll left, got a man. He's gonna catch it and get a couple feet down and get out of bounds for a nice pickup first down on the play. Picks up 12 on it. We're going to get the ball all the way up to the 46 of Dover. Good high percentage pass. Get your quarterback rolling out to a strong side. Put it right on the money.
Haven't seen many runs by Heber Springs tonight. That's right. Five wide here. Brown comes in motion. I'm going to snap at the quarterback. Looks like he's going to roll out pass option. He's got a man right at this marker as he turns got up a field. Lot of room. Huge pickup there. Is that number four? Yeah, that is. Boots, number four brought down by number 20. Easton Music. Catch your side. Going to pick up 24 on the play. Lindley to Cusick. Cusick uh, who's now got 46 yards receiving in the ball game. 32 on the last on this drive. Another rollout. Got a play action rollout. Going to hit Cusick again out of the backfield and Got a flag on a play. He breaks a tackle. Finally gets drugged down by a catcher side. Side to five yard line. We'll see what this flag Block is. Blocking the back. Blocking the back on the Panthers. Block on the offense. Gonna back him up. Sorry, we're uh, trying to catch we're, a we're calling a game, but we're trying to catch a t-shirt. We want a t-shirt, man. Throw it in the booth. Let's go, girls. Let's see that arm. On, oh, man. they got to tie those shirts up better. Man. Catch it too much wind. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long throw from down there up here to this press box. Yeah. <laughs> you got to bring the footballs back, right? Right. I haven't seen them of those oh, this season. Oh, man, I'm, as a little kid, I used to love trying to get those footballs. Oh, yeah. Wrestling it away from anybody who even tried to catch one. I bet the poor old women in Whitehall were scared to death of you. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were. High snap, throws it out to the man in motion who stops and gets vertical. That law, that that was first and 16 after they mark him off. And uh, he picks up about three on it. Yeah, bring up second and 13. Down by number four, Zach Stane. And that was uh, Cusick again. He's getting a lot of action. Pick up a three. Zach Stain, another tackle. He's a tackle machine this year. Him, catcher side. Catcher side had 13 tackles last week. Jeremiah Mercier, he's the other one. He's he's had a lot of tackles. Probably leading the team right now overall. It's pretty him and catcher side are up there. Yeah, they've been all over the field all year. Parker Brown comes in motion. They're gonna swing it out to the right. He's gonna almost break a tackle. That's a good job. Who was that? Is that catcher side? Number four on the catch. Brought down by number twenty. Yep. Kenny catcher side. Kenny catcher side on the tackle <laughs> after a minimal gain. Gonna bring up third and eight. They've been throwing a lot of short passes all night, getting their uh, receivers out in space. They've been able to do a lot of damage after the catch tonight. Third and eight, ball on the 21-yard line. Got to get down to the 13 for a first down. Five wide, Brown comes in motion. Lanley going to hit a guy on a slant, skinny oh, post, man. and he can't pull it in. Just a little out in front of him. Just a tad. Yeah, he laid out for it nicely, but he can't complete it. They're going for it, though. Yeah. It's either going to be a field goal or, a, or a, they're going for it. Too close to do anything else. It's a team that likes to play the analytics and go for it on fourth down anyways. Yeah. They're definitely doing it inside the – right on the 20-yard line, 21, 22. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we go, fourth and eight. Got four wide. Balanced formation. One man in the back of that's Parker Brown alongside Xander Lindley. Checking the defense. Now they're getting a play from the sideline. Taking the time. Down. Play clock's down. They're going to take time a out. timeout. Heber Springs. We'll take one with them. We'll be back with more Dover Pirates Coming football out, right after this. Panthers. ...is your most prized possession. You want to take care of them. You want to give them the very best. And when it comes to choosing a pharmacy, you'll want someone who knows your name and understands both you and your way of life. At Rose Drug, they will take care of your family just like you were their own. They'll be someone that you can trust with the ones that you love the most. That's Rose Drug in Russellville. Call 968-1323 today. Back at Jack Berry Field. 
Beaver Springs takes a timeout after looking at what Dover was presenting defensively and uh, couldn't decide what they wanted to run there. So they're going to talk about it. We'll see what formation to come out here. This would be big. Dover needs to stop him, get the ball back. Yeah. And uh, get, some, get some momentum going offensively, hopefully for the first time tonight, really. 3.05 left in the third quarter. We are under the mercy rule right now on 35-point spread, so that clock does not stop if someone goes out of bounds, incompletions of that nature. Um, it has to be a timeout to stop the clock. Here Springs looks ready now. They've got four wide, man in motion, had an H back in the back. Right. They're going to give it to the man in motion. I think that's Parker Brown. No, it's not. He's going to get a touchdown. That's number three. Zane Lozo from Dover, who just transferred to Heber Springs this year. And I believe that's his first carry of the day. And he takes that over to left side for a 21-yard touchdown. Good hard running by the former Dover Pirate. And if you're a Pirate, former teammate of Zane, that, that one kind of hurts a little bit. Yeah, that one's, that one's Most steam for sure. Number five in the kick it, that's Gideon Tate. I believe they had number 13 Chandler Webb kicking earlier, so changing the kickers a little bit. Okay. Same result, though. Yeah, no drop off. 42 zip. We'll be back with more Dover Pirate football right after this. And we're back at Dover, 42-0. Heber Springs leads your Dover Pirates with 111 and ticking left in the third period. We've got Brantley Craig back to receive the kickoff. Dover playing a safe formation here. 23 is kind of rolling out of it now, and they're going to kick it right to Craig. He's going to have some room. Get some blocks, Dover. Let's set him up. Not much in the middle. He's going to have to sp uh, string it out here. He'll get up to the 26-yard line, and the Pirates will start from there. Six, Bradley Craig. period, I mean the third period, and uh, Pirates will start it off after that at the beginning of the fourth. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back right after this on the Rest of the Sports Network. That banking is more than just a financial transaction. It's a relationship. Whether you're opening your first checking account, buying the home of your dreams, or starting a new business, we want to be right there with you. Our team is dedicated to helping you find the tools you need to reach your financial goals. That's why at Centennial, it's not just banking. It's banking with you in mind. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender, NMLS number 466091. Must have Centennial Bank checking account to receive debit card. Replacement fees may apply. All loans subject to credit and property approval. Back here at Dover, 42-0, Heber Springs Panthers lead your Pirates. Start of the fourth period. We will have a running clock until Dover can get it within 35 again. Once they uh, end of the period, once they get it started here, once they snap the ball, the clock won't stop again unless someone calls timeout. 
see what Dover brings out here. We've got four wide receivers, balance set. We've got a H back in the back of that's catcher side. Now he moves over to the left side. Craig's in a shotgun. I'm sorry, that's a great house in a shotgun. Catcher side comes in motion. High snap. You better get on it. Just get on it. And he does. What a jump Gabriel on Springs it. was just shooting out there. He had about a split second to recover it, or they were going to be all over it. Yeah. He does. That's going to back him up inside the 15. Looks like about the 12-yard line. Not the way you want to start this drive. Yep. Went from first and 10 to second. We do have a 50-50 ticket winner up here. Second about. Six, nine, three, zero, two, seven, one. Six, about nine, 26. three, zero, two, seven, Shotgun one. Shotgun formation. You had Landon Metter as the man in motion. Craig tries to, I'm sorry, Great House tries to take out the middle. Nothing there. He's going to get bulldozed down in the backfield. Another loss. He's inside the 10 now. Second and about 26 turns into about third and about 30. Long way to go. First down marker is the 37 yard line. And they are on the eight. 50 50 ticket. So Six, got about 29 nine, yards here. Three, zero, two, seven, I see a pass one. here. If you have that ticket, two H men in the backfield. Wide receiver Kenny Catcher comes in motion, hands it to him. Heber Springs does a good job running down the line and stringing that one out. It's going to be a minimal gain. It's going to be brought down about the nine yard line. Grabbing pad by number Pick up 20. Of about Kenny one. Catcher side. Brought down by number 58. Corbin Jones. Definitely expect a punt. Just want to get out of your own end zone right here. Can't give them short field start. Fourth and 29. High snap oh, in the end zone. It's going to roll through the back, and that's a safety. They'll have to give them two points and then punt it away. 44 nothing. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with more Dover Pirate football right after this. Back at Dover, 44 nothing. Pirates gonna punt after the safety. High snap on a fourth down play where they were just trying to punt it away. Goes over to head of Great House. They're gonna punt it from their own 20 yard line. It's going to be fair caught at the, it's going to be muffed as well. Nobody's down there. So. At the 43 yard line. It'll be a 37 yard net punt for John Greathouse. Oh, that was Brantley Craig kicking that one. I apologize. So 
Heber will take over there They're after the little muff. They, they picked it up at the 42. They recovered it at the 42, and that's where they'll start. Let's we'll see if Xander Lindley's still in the game at quarterback. I believe he is. He's got number four draped to the side of him, alongside him. Now that's number four at quarterback. He hands it off up the middle. He's going to get stuffed right there. So you've got Gunner Tate got in on the play. Awesome young gentleman we got to meet, do that halftime interview with. And he was a first man there, but he was met by a host of Pirates. Petricide, the last one getting up, a little, little banged up on that one. Yep. Gunner Cates won our Tyson player of the game last week for his play late in the game. There's more of it right there. He's not a quitter, man. Can he catch that? Uh, grabbing the back of his head. I don't know if he got kind of stepped on. Could have been a stinger or something yeah. like that. Could be a stinger, like you said. He's coming out for a play at least. Clock's down to 16 and rolling. Colton Shuffield lining up off sides. Yeah, he figures it out. He backs up. Oh, it's time out. Time out, Heber. We'll take one with them. We'll be back right after this. Farm credit supports rural communities and agriculture with reliable, consistent credit and financial services in good times and bad. We provide loans to farmers and ranchers, farmer-owned cooperatives, rural home buyers, agribusinesses, and rural infrastructure providers. As cooperatives, we're locally owned and governed. We help agricultural producers feed the world. For America's farmers, Farm Credit supporting rural communities and agriculture. Learn more today. Back in Dover, 44-nothing, 40, Haber Springs leads your Pirates. Got a second and 10 here for Heber Springs. See if the Pirates can hold them, get them off the field, and get the ball back. A little toss out to the right. Almost trips up, but he's going to get free and get some positive yards. Flag on the play in the back, uh, in the secondary, comes down. There he is, doing a really hard the play. Picked up about three on the play. Let's see what the flag's about. Gonna be holding, I believe. Yeah, looks like hold. Blocking the back. No, holding. Ten yard. Really the block against the offense. You're right. Legal block and ten yard penalty from the spot of it. That'll bring them back to the 35 yard line. Four wide receivers. Cusick's the quarterback now on this last drive and throws that one a little short. They called that a completion and down where he caught it. Hmm. No. Nope. Incomplete. Now they're saying incomplete. Could have been a backwards that. throw. He went in there like he was fixing to spot the ball, but he line judge says no, it's incomplete. So it'll be third and 17 for the Panthers. Panthers have had some explosive plays on third down tonight. Let's see if Dover can stop them right here. Cusick rolls to his left, left-hander as well as Xander Lindley, and he overthrows everybody. And that's going to bring up a fourth and 17. Should see the punting team here. Yeah, so what you suspect? 44 to nothing game. 17 yards behind. Yeah, fourth and 17. Uh, what they if they don't punt, then uh, we gotta, <laughs> we're got we gonna have some issues. No. <laughs> but, it's uh, not looking like it's a punt. <laughs> maybe they just don't punt at all. It's no. just against them. Kevin Kelly uh, nope. philosophy. Yep, He's just gonna flip it out to the left. Got a little bit of an edge, but a good job there by Landon Metter to run him down and wrap him up. So Dover Here takes over five, right there at the 37 yard line, 38 yard line. Dover's had some really good field position at times, but yeah, he's not have. able to capitalize at all. 
Yeah, they've had a couple possessions where they started in, in Heber's territory. Maybe they can take advantage here late in the game. You want to see some positive things as in the game. It could be really easy to just lay down and quit, you know, but these Pirates have showed all year that they're fighters. They're not quitters. Pistol formation. Looks like Landon Metter is the H-man. I believe that was number 23 was the H-man. You know, call, get to call his name a whole lot. I believe that's Baggett. Yeah, Baggett. side gets to carry. He rams it up in there pretty hard for about a five-yard gain. It's going to bring up second five. Greathouse still a quarterback. Catcher side is an H man. Brantley Craig comes in motion. Snap on the ground. Ball on it. Craig don't see, Greyhouse didn't see it. the guy behind him. He thought he had some time. Yeah. He was, Getting hit from the blind side, he a really got lucky there to not cough it up when he got nailed. Yeah, for sure. We've seen these snaps all game long. Every time you get a, I mean, it was first, and you got five yards on first down, snap on the ground, you know, you lose 20 yards basically. Shot yourselves in her foot all night tonight. Just a drive killer. I don't know if it was snapped before he was ready. If it was just a low snap. It's going to be second, third down and 22. Hedger side comes in motion. Goes back to the pistol. Hand it to him. 55 beats his man. Gets in there, makes a tackle. Hedger side lucky to get back to the line. Gary by number 20. Kenny, catch your side. No gain on the play by Kenny, catch your side. 53 made the tackle, and he's not on our roster as well. This could be the last play of the game here. Just another pooch punt. Fourth and 22. Give him a yard on, the, on that game, on that carry. Punched that low into him, and uh, Eber recovers it right there at the 48-yard line of Dover. That's where they'll take over. Remind you, tonight, the fifth quarter at the Dover First Baptist. The grade 6 through 12 will be two minutes. That's going to be the last play of the game. Lots of fun. Ten Get seconds on the clock, about seven now, and rolling. And they're going to line up, shake hands, and uh, Heber Springs is going to escape Dover with a 44 nothing win. We're going to take a little break. We'll be back to wrap it up right after this. Nothing came easy, but with just five cents, an old truck, and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise, to always keep it real, to always keep it Tyson. Banking is more than just a financial transaction. It's a relationship. Whether you're opening your first checking account, buying the home of your dreams, or starting a new business, we want to be right there with you. Our team is dedicated to helping you find the tools you need to reach your financial goals. That's why at Centennial, it's not just banking. It's banking with you in mind. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender, NMLS number 466091. Must have Centennial Bank checking account to receive debit card. Replacement fees may apply. All loans subject to credit and property approval. I hope he's not working. And that's what I really like about Sam Pittman. He's always genuine, and I really think he's very happy to be at the University of Arkansas. Did I put a, a question mark in the teleprompter again? I forget you literally read that thing like exactly as it's written. Oh, come on, Bill. 
you know you're just as off the cuff as Sam Pittman is. At least y'all ain't got a, a wasp nest out here to deal with the size of Brad's head. <laughs> if people only knew what went on behind the scenes. Oh, I know. For real, this is not Sports Center. All right, we're back at Dover on the Rose Drug post-game show. The Dover Pirates fall tonight to the Heber Springs Panthers, 44 to nothing. And uh, this one was just a tough one from the very get-go. Uh, Heber Springs picked a lot of onside kicks, capoose kicks, went for it on fourth down every time, basically. And uh, yeah. Dover just really uh, – it, it was one of those weeks that I know Coach Cox is not going to be very happy about the performance tonight. Um you know, the first week of the season, we had we had a lot of bad snaps and some penalties and turnovers, and uh, it kind of looked a little bit like that, like it was the first yeah. game out there. There's a lot of balls being snapped on the ground. Um, a lot of sloppy play, sloppy Pen penalties, play. you know. Yeah. Got to take care of those. Got to clean it up. Dover's uh, started this four-game homestand is over now. Next week, we'll go to Ozark. That's the furthest they'll travel all season. And uh, that's going to be next Friday night at Ozark. We'll bring you all the action from there. But tonight, we do have a Tyson player of the game to give away. And we're going we're gonna to give that to sophomore Hudson Metz. Hudson Metz had a forced fumble early in the game, recovered by Kenny Ketcher's side. And we're going we're gonna to name number 44, I'm sorry, number 51, Hudson Metz. The Tyson player of the game this week. And a uh, great job on that play to strip that ball and uh, get the – Dover had great field position. Couldn't convert it, but uh, good good play back there on defense, never quitting and uh, making something happen for your team. So that's our Tyson player of the game. We're going to wrap it up here from Dover tonight after the 44-0 loss to Heber Springs. We'll see you next week from Ozark. Have a good night.